here through town. That's my look at traffic. Manny and Vanessa will send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mike Roberts. Following that breaking news we brought you about 30 minutes ago, a brother and sister are dead and a man's in custody after an early morning shooting and police chase in southeast Bakersfield. 17th Aton Wallace has been at the crime scene for several hours now. He's working to get more information. Aton, what can you tell us? And Maddie, more than five hours after the Bakersfield Police Department first arrived here on scene here at the Santa Fe apartment complex on 617 South Union Avenue, you can see police and investigators are still on scene here and even past that gate over there. In fact, I saw that the corner rolled up here on scene. I also saw a chaplain here just after 2 o'clock this morning. Now, a Bakersfield police officer with whom I spoke off camera earlier this morning told me that this is a tragedy, and here's why as we take a look at some video. Basically, uh, just before midnight, a man and woman who were brother and sister were shot and killed here in the parking lot of this apartment complex. The woman murdered here leaves behind three children ages 6, 8, and 10. Police say the person they believe is responsible for this deadly shooting is the father of the woman's children. And it gets worse, sadly. Police say the children were home at the time of the shooting and may have witnessed or heard the shots, but those children were not hurt in the shooting. Police say following the shooting, the suspect then fled the scene and led police on a brief pursuit north on Union Avenue. The chase came to an end on the eastbound 178 near the Oswell Street off-ramp. That's where the suspect crashed into another vehicle and officers took him into custody. Now here's what the scene looked like minutes after that pursuit ended. No word on whether the person or people in the other car were injured, but police and Caltrans have since closed down the Oswell off-ramp and it could be closed for at least a few more hours, so be sure to plan accordingly on your morning commute. Now back here live, we should point out, we do not know the names of the victims or of the suspect. We also do not know how old the uh, victims or suspect were, but we do know, however, that this double murder brings the KGET homicide tracker to 72 this year in 2019. Reporting live in Southeast Bakersfield, Aton Wallace, 17 News.